hello, and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite to expose one Jonas. Uh- we're not on any sticks, man. I always do this, but it's TNT, the INO, and my GHT. Yeah, it sounds like you're faltering at your career. No, no it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> the career. <laughs> no, Jones, you know what, man? We, what, dude? Just you gotta let it be, man. You gotta be yourself. You gotta bring yourself. You gotta just bring you. Bring yeah, some you. people want perfection. We settle for for yeah mediocrity <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> most most podcasts would have stopped there i've been like you know what we're 30 <laughs> seconds in yeah. why don't we just restart no. us that's way too much absolutely time to not but, absolutely not but thank you so much for joining us today on the crazy town podcast tnt how's your life uh <laughs> all right good enough <laughs> and uh, if, you, if you want to subscribe that's <laughs> youtube crazy town media I love or, that. or if you want to listen to us on Spotify or iTunes, you should do that too because it's wonderful and our voices will caress your eardrums. Oh yeah, TNT Dynamite live every day on Twitch at 9 a.m. Central. Yeah, uh, boy. TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Teal. Holler at your boy. Holler at your boy. <laughs> so what up? What uh? What's new with you out here in the streets, man? Uh. What's new with me out here in the streets? Now, imagine if I asked you that same question. Now, how would you answer that? I would I would just be like, not much, man. I'm not really in the streets. Oh, yeah. I'm not really in the streets. <laughs> Why you got to copy my answer? I don't go out in the streets. I mean, I'm out in the streets. I would figure like a little bit more than you. I try not to leave the house. Uh, I know, which is so odd because for the year, bef- the years before this all went down, I was always out of the house more than me you. Me too. <laughs> you were always out of the house? Yeah. When I had my day job? Yeah. I was out of the house, man. But I meant like, oh yeah, I guess so. I mean, I guess maybe we've been equally out of the house because I stayed at home all day working, and you were out during the day working. Yeah, and moving at around. Night, I would get out. I was moving around. I was putting miles on the vehicle, man. man you I, were doing night moves. Now I'm during doing, the day. Now I'm making night moves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, man. We got some good stories today. Do I we? think. I, th- I think so, man. I'm I'm loving mine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mine are good. Glad you're so confident in your ability to find good content for the well, podcast. Jonas, you told me that you have one. Do you want to do the uh, Egyptian one? Oh well, I wasn't going to do that this episode, but sure. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for picking out my stories <laughs> for me. Appreciate. Appreciate. <laughs> I tell Jonas what I have, and I'm like. Like I got one story that's about juice and another story that's about Kentucky. And Jonas is like, I got a story about Egyptian hieroglyphics. I'm like, wait, no, I said Egyptian journalism, Egyptian journalism, even worse. <laughs> right. And I'm like, what, what do you got about hieroglyphics? <laughs> I said, I said, is that racist? Yeah, I, I don't, this is you that. ruined it. You never, it I never did. is good when it's not organic. It's not, it's not, but it was still, you said it was funny, Egyptians though. writing their hieroglyphics. And I said, is that racist? Yeah, yeah, and I think it is. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, this is why we don't plan anything because yeah. it never turns out. No, we we don't. We have a lot of good jokes when we are recording, and then none when we're on camp. We're just gonna have to like start entering the room, just looking at each other, <laughs> and make our connection that's there. Kinda, that's kind of weird. And just make our connection there, and then just look at each other, nod, start the video, and just go. Wow, you don't like looking at me at all, like in. Like, <laughs> probably- <laughs> Like your boyfriend? (laughs) (laughs) At improv class, you were like, don't look at me. Don't touch me. (laughs) And now you're like, we should lock eyes and caress our vision tunnels. And then. I only only don't like looking at you or touching you because you leave hair in the sink. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, I I thought you should be better about washing it down, but. (laughs) It's my passive aggressive way of. Dude, protesting. You know, I, I like. I just had a flashback to childhood where mm-hmm. my mother would always complain to my dad about leaving hair in the sink. Mine too. I, you know why I don't leave hair in the sink? Because I'm wasteful with water and I just let it run instead of filling the sink up. Because my dad would fill the sink up and then then like waft the razor through the water in the sink and then rather you know, than you know how unsanitary that is. Uh, you know how less wasteful water that is? He cared about the environment. You trying to What the hell, dude? <laughs> you making those micro abrasions on your in the sink is the dirtiest utensil in the house. Is it? I'm just saying it kinda is, man. <laughs> dirtiest utensil. That's why it freaked me out when I saw you putting lettuce in the sink. I was just like, no, nah, dude, you can't do that. Yeah. It's dirty. I clean it first. <laughs> I mean it's- <laughs> 
I mean, that's what soap does, right? Soap, like, takes away bacteria. It's the whole purpose of, uh, wash your hands. I saw, I saw a picture on Reddit where somebody just had, like, some raw chicken wings and some seasoning, and they just, like, threw it in the sink to, like, mix their wings. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> just had like some raw, it might have been chicken breast. Wait. And they just had like the seasoning in the sink and they just threw everything in the sink and they were just like. So Why they don't they use a bowl? Because you can just wash it down. You don't have to do any dishes. I guess. No, Jonas, that's the most <laughs> disgusting, unsanitary thing on the planet Earth. You can't do that. All right. So, do you want to do your I story? So. We don't have to do the hieroglyphics. We can do. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, now I'm just an insensitive a hole. <laughs> <laughs> but okay but since we met the joke fell flat because it wasn't the same is it saying the egyptians and their hieroglyphics He's a racist egyptian. statement freaking egyptians and their hieroglyphics right it's, it's like you said like when you say stuff about like sometimes you say something that like isn't racist well isn't like on the surface racist but then you're like is that racist? Oh yeah, I think I still to this day think it's it's acceptable to be racist towards Russians, French. <laughs> Excuse me. Russians, French, uh, Canadians. But is that racism or is that countryism? Because you're not like they're not a race. Yeah, like, but a Canadian isn't a race. But if you start saying something like them Chinese, right? People had an issue with you know the administration referring to it as the Chinese virus. Well, here's the thing: it's is weird that racist? Because it, it's like it's like if you say the country they're from, if they're not like white skinned people, then people take it as racist. Like if you say Mexicans or Chinese <laughs> or whatever, Mexican but, isn't a dirty one. Well, well, right. But like, but then people are like, people get all up in arms if you're like, oh, the Chinese or the Mexican. But yeah. then if you say like the Canadians, it's the same thing. But they're just, it's like, it's I don't know why. Like which, some of them sound racist, but some of them don't. But then again, like, oh yeah, because it is, it's acceptable to be. Canadians, French, Russians, Germans, like Germans, all that, like all that yeah. stuff. Like, yeah. it's like, it's like, uh, but then when you say, yeah, like those Egyptians, you're like, oh, okay. Well, look, I could see how like that sort of racism, just like delineating between white skin people and people with other tones of color of skin, right? Is that it's more visible with those individuals so that minor racism can can translate into like full i blown, see yeah you, you associated immediately with that person where i don't know what held nationalities you got running through your blood just by looking at you yeah i don't even know and i <laughs> right like yeah and of course you know jamaican african american right. uh the, UK, we're just all black, apparently. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> we're going to say all black people because that's easy. That's the easiest one to see. Oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> that's the but, easiest one. But if you think it's about cake. it, it's like, it, like, I just don't, it, like, it just sounds so racist sometimes. Yeah, it does. Is saying the Egyptians and their hieroglyphics, the Egypt <laughs> that'd be like saying the those Chinese and their Chinese and their Mandarin. Yeah. <laughs> like, like it does. <laughs> There's but if I said, racist about that but if I said them French and their bagels or them Canadians and their hockey, yeah, that's <laughs> nothing. Just, yeah, like, but but like by saying like those Chinese and their Mandarin, you're really just stating a fact. It's yeah. not like I guess it tone that makes it bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you're like the Chinese and their Mandarin, you're like them Chinese and their Mandarin. Like just like I don't. <laughs> their Mandarin orange slices. <laughs> All right, Jonas, I'm going first. All right. And this one kind of fits off of that. Oh, awesome. I love mandarins. Jonas, how do you feel about Lizzo? <laughs> Did you know she just took a DNA test, Jonas? It turns out she's 100% that bitch. <laughs> really? I even, swear. I, even she when said she's it. crying crazy? <laughs> you know it, dude. You yeah. know it. Yeah. I she, wonder uh, I wonder but, if the, the guy problem she has is the goddess in her. I don't know the whole song. That's all I knew. <laughs> and I had to look that up before the podcast. You can sing the whole I, thing if you'd like. I don't know. If you it. know all of the Lizzo lyrics. <laughs> you know, I'm just in my room, lights <laughs> out, blanket over my head, uh, yeah. headphones in. Hey, yo. I got to feel like a, like a woman. Yo, you be your best self, queen. I, I am. You be your best self, queen. They call me... They call me Jalizzo. Jo Joan Lizzo. Joan Lizzo. Well, she is 100% that bitch, Jonas, because she got one of her songs, Juice, put onto Rock Band uh, 4. Did you know they're still updating this game? Wait, wait. I swear to God. Wait, 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 wait. Rock Band 4 is still having DLC content? Rock Band 4 is still updating their... Uh, 
they're online so that you can like buy a single song. Yeah, you know Chach has like 500 songs for that game or something. Really? One of those rock band games, he has a ridiculous amount of songs. Why? Cuz he likes to play it. Does he still play it? No. Nope. Hey, see, now that's a problem for me. It's an issue for me when I like that that degree of microtransaction I feel is insidious because it's like you're selling me single songs. Just sell me like packs eventually and make them. Yeah, but make you know what? I would cheap. much rather buy single songs for a lesser price than a pack that has stuff in it I don't want. Well, the pack shouldn't be expensive. I mean, how much does it cost for you to put a single song into the, the fucking game, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like it's a little insidious. Anyways, yeah, so so yeah. But they just recently put her song Juice uh onto Rock Band 4. And okay. they also put uh uh, sh the Strokes, you familiar with them? Yeah, yeah. Bad decision by them. They also That's made it. That's a brand on. new song, I think. Mm -hmm. So they're still putting new stuff on there. Kind of crazy. Well, j her song Juice got removed within forty eight hours. Jonas, can you guess why? Because Ned and Wet. <laughs> Did they confuse it with ICP, dude? <laughs> what? You just say it word. I love it when you just speak word salad. Sometimes I think like you have like aphasia of some sort. <laughs> Can you guess why? Ned and wet. Like, it's okay. I love you for who you are. No, Jonas. It wasn't fucking Ned and wet. I just bring, but that's I, hilarious. I, I bring the heat. I bring you know, the heat. Yeah. <laughs> Where there's smoke, there's fire. It was because, Jonas, one of her lyrics contain the n-word and i know for a fact jonas that you happen to be when it comes to rock band you like the microphone <laughs> do i yeah <laughs> when we i remember playing rock band oh yeah with you. well because you could just make mouth noises <laughs> and you I, didn't have to sing you'd be like oh, 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 oh. No, there, was, there was one song you used to go off on dude there was one song. Was it? I, yeah. I didn't play it that much. I didn't even own it. How I feel I like it, it was I Want to Be Sedated or something. I remember playing I it. I think you got it mixed no, up. No, motherfucker. Dude, I, I am not a Ramones fan. It would not have been. Well, then it wasn't that one. But it was a song on Rock Band that you knew all the words to. Because you tend to know the words to some songs. I just always know the words, dude. The two some songs. you The songs you know the words to. I think you it know was the words my to. own worst enemy. It was not that one. It was something. It was something else. I can't remember the song, but I know that you use that you have sung on the microphone. I have. I remember actually. Quick side <laughs> note. I remember coming home from the bar, being like twenty some years old, wasted, completely wasted. Came home. It was with Todd and yeah. some other people. What song we, was it? We did. We did that lit. Uh, what Miles were sending me or whatever. It might have been that. And. Uh, I was so drunk, I didn't sing any word. I only did mouth noises, I remember and I got a perfect that. on the song. <laughs> I remember that. Too. I was just like, oh, oh, oh. I remember that. <laughs> and I was like, I got a perfect. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> but her lyrics and her song, Juice, Jonas, they happen to go, the juice ain't worth the squeeze. If the juice don't look like these, whoa, hold up, nigga, please. Don't make me take your beach. Take your what? Take your beach. Oh, I got okay. <laughs> so I, I had at first I was like, why does he own a beach? Oh, I get it. <laughs> so there's already videos up of people playing Lizzo song juice on YouTube and then encountering this and like, oh, they didn't edit the song. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny just watching some people are just like they're smooth with it, like <laughs> like they've been saying a word since birth. Oh, <laughs> and then some of them are like, Oh, oh, wait a that, minute. So that comes back to the old testament of like if you're in your car by yourself singing rap music and you're not a person of color is it okay if you sing along with a song all 100%, the way through percent a hundred percent yes what if you're in public no <laughs> just by your by yourself let that's it that's like saying is it okay if you're in your room to beat your dick yes in public <laughs> No, <laughs> it's so, not okay. So you can be a closet racist at home by yourself. And it's not even about, I mean, it, if you're a closet racist, that's different than just saying the N word. I believe you can say a word and not have, like, <laughs> I got you. just because it comes out your mouth. Yeah. Doesn't mean you're a racist. Exactly. It makes sense, I guess. Like yeah. sometimes I just scream the C word at the top <laughs> of my lungs, I, but I'm not a misogynist. Where were you in the car when this happens? 
Uh, sometimes, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say I've never heard, I've never been in like in the crazy town compound in the kitchen making some eggs and heard <laughs> like, like, like a big like conch horn like, coming out. <laughs> some mating call. Yeah. All of a sudden there's just knocks on the door, they're like they're like, Is TNT home? I heard my call. <laughs> That's how I get my that's how I get my ladies, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so yeah, look, Rock Band, they they took the song down after forty eight hours, made an apology, and they're gonna be uploading a censored version in what are they a gonna week put or two. instead? Uh I don't know. What word do they use to uh change that in songs on the radio? Like if like they play a song on the radio that has that in it, what do they normally edit it out with? I don't know, it's two syllables. Brother please. Uh do they say Friend? ninja? No. I've heard people say ninja. No, you've heard ICP say No, that. I've heard other people Ain't say nobody that. saying that shit on the radio. <laughs> I would be I would stop listening to a fucking song. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I'll turn that shit right off. Imagine if every Lil Wayne song they just put ninja. In. I swear to God, I will turn a whole track. <laughs> they change off. it to homie. No, that, <laughs> it doesn't rhyme. It just, no. just throw it in there. They might just like zip it. Just we'll do one of those. Yeah, in yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Where they just kind of take out the middle syllable. It just goes. <laughs> oh. Just re- reverse the word. Yigan. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they should You don't even want to say it backwards, just, do you? Just, I don't want to say it at all, dude. Not at all. I don't even want to. I can see you. Just me going, guh, got me all like I anxious. I can see you uncomfortable about saying it backwards. <laughs> again? <laughs> just again. It's just again. <laughs> that again? <laughs> oh, okay, mother. <laughs> I see how it is. Go well, call me a nigga backwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's just like a number, another word in the language. Oh, just, every time you hear anybody say again from oh. now on, you should just be like, "Oh, that's how it's gonna be." Like, like excuse me. Like I know what you were doing there. <laughs> I, I thought you were one of them. Oh god, they make people so uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this one quick because it's not a happy story. Egyptian journalism, or them Egyptians and their hieroglyphics, as you like to (laughs) (laughs) kindly call them. Goddamn Egyptians and their hieroglyphics. Oh, my God. Could you imagine if... America. Jesus. Could you imagine if if that was still, like, a language used today? Like Egyptian? No, hieroglyphics. Oh. Like, they wrote their paper in, like, hieroglyphics. Dude, yeah. I don't know. (laughs) It would take a long time. I mean, it's we, we use a simplified form, I guess, to this day, right? I guess I guess language is hieroglyphics in a way. Yeah, twitch emotes are basically <laughs> hieroglyphics. Emojis. Emojis. Yeah, just in general. Are basically Dude, wow, we're reinventing the wheel. I'm telling you. Twenty two hundred years later. Are ours better or worse? What, how how many BC was Egyptians doing hieroglyphics? Like was it like eight hundred BC? Dude, I I don't know. It, I don't so know it's history. Been, it's probably pushing like three thousand years. <laughs> Ago, they were using hieroglyphics. Yeah, it's been a long, long time. Yeah, dude. It's been a while. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, Egypt is a country. It is. They have leaders. Imagine that. They also have journalists. <laughs> like, you mean they're human just like us? <laughs> Oh my god, they have feelings? <laughs> They're civilized over there! <laughs> I don't know how civilized they are. Oh, here we go. Get to uh, your Egyptian hate, Jonas. I like this. So, the government has been cracking down on journalists. <laughs> Poor K. They have said that anyone who challenges the official narrative will be severely punished. Really? Wait a minute. What? Okay. Yeah, I'll, right? I'll let you keep going. I don't want to interrupt. So... Uh, over the last, I think it's a year or so, 37 journalists have been detained for spreading fake news, Whoa. misusing social media, Whoa. and they're, they're doing it under a, uh, like, they're basically misusing a 2015 counterterrorism law to, like, by, by them spreading fake news is, is they're t- being terrorists. Okay. And uh, they said one of them, uh, like one one of the examples that they gave in the story was that a journalist uh, went on his Facebook account and said something along the lines of questioning the amount of coronavirus cases that Egypt has. Something mm-hmm. along those lines. Then, like, not even a week later, he was detained on suspicion of joining a terrorist organization. Like, <sighs> so they basically have started to make journalism 
illegal in Egypt that if they aren't following what the Egyptian government says is the truth, then they are finding themselves in trouble. That just kind of goes to show you, man, is that, like, I don't know what type of government they have over there, if they're a democracy or well, if they have, like, a even an ancillary they, to the they Bill had of an Rights. uprising a few years ago. Remember the Egyptian Spring? Do you remember hearing about that? Absolutely The people not. of Egypt, like, revolted against their government, like, a few years ago. Now they got this guy, whoever this guy is. So what do they have? Is it, is it a dictatorship? I think it's a democracy. Is it democracy? I think almost every... But is it, the, is it like, Russian democracy? Well, yeah. <laughs> right. Russia's like, whoa, we, we're, they're like, like we're a communist. Oh no, no, we have a democracy. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, people vote show, all the time. People just like stuffing the ballot box with, <laughs> yeah. with uh, to the point where Putin has been there for twenty years. And he's now he wants to. But you know what? Yeah. Speaking of that, he yeah. had that plan to be able to spread his power forever. Yeah. And they were about to vote on it, and then C nineteen hit, and now everyone's like, now now everyone's like mad at him because he, the country is like their their cases are going crazy like oh see i don't know anything about that yeah, but but uh what happened with the egyptians though but that's really it it's just they've they they've, revolted they're with... they're starting oh back in the egyptian spring i don't remember it was like they they had some sort of uprising and because they were upset with their government and stuff yeah. it was uh happening. Yeah. yeah well that's i mean that's crazy because that shit just wouldn't fly over here obviously uh we're, i mean that's what they're trying to they're just trying to discredit mm, them yeah they're not that... arresting them that's what they But do. they're just trying to discredit them here. Like it we like do it in a different way. It's one step <laughs> away from detaining them basically. Like they they still get to keep their freedom but they're just basically called liars and yeah. I don't know if that's a one step. It's like away. attacking their integrity instead of attacking instead of detaining is. their freedoms. But so that's that's the way that our government chooses to fight, but at least it's not to the point where we're separating people from their families. He's all like, What you're doing is wrong. All of a sudden he disappears. Like in Russia, like they'll be like, Oh, all these people fall out of windows all the time. Oh my god. I just saw a story that a bunch of Russian doctors have fallen out of the windows that were like Yeah. That were like uh talking bad about the, the state of affairs over there. And all of a sudden, they just keep... They're all just committing suicide, jumping out the windows. That shit wouldn't go here. Dude, it happens all the time with Russian... Like, people in Russia that, like, all of a sudden are having a problem with someone in the government, they all jump out the window. It seems like a lot of these second world countries, that kind of stuff. Well, they had that big deal where they po Russian pe they sent uh, Russians to Britain to poison people, and they almost died, and, like, that was a big ordeal, like, wow. last year. It, which all this stuff has fell by the wayside because of the situation, obviously. That's but. so crazy, man. Yeah, dude. It's just, it's, it's, uh, I mean, we're fortunate we to be where our we freedoms, are. We freedoms, man. We're fortunate to be where we That's are. That's the one thing that, uh, a lot of like people like Edward Snowden and Julian Assange mm. are, uh, warning people about right now is like, yeah, yeah, you're let, it's cool because there's a pandemic and like you're cool with like observation, but watch out when this goes away if that goes away too. Because once you get under a state of lockdown and they're watching all your moves, it's easy for them to just not let it up. You mean as far as like the uh, the computer just, monitoring, just monitoring stuff or... people and like you know it's like because you're monitoring people for the the proper reasons. To, now because of pandemics and stuff, because they're monitoring our phone data to tell how people. I've saw stories that they're like, oh, they can tell how many people are out and doing or keeping at home on their lockdown because Google's all the Google's information of people driving around with their phones. Yeah. If like if there's big concentrations of cell phones, that's how Google Maps uses their traffic data. If there's a bunch of cell phone data, yeah, that's yeah. how they that, know there's a, there's a backup. You know. I mean, but I love that. It's so, so oh, right. convenient. Dude. But how hard is it for them to take that anonymous cell phone data yeah. and then? pinpoint it straight to you because they know it's your phone well i'm pretty sure they're just finding people by their cell phones the, if the uh like the police they need to find you they the first thing they're going to do is ping your phone right exactly which is why if you're ever a criminal you get rid of your phone a hundred percent yeah but, but so yeah. we spent a lot of time on the build-up so that is all the time <laughs> we have for today's episode please make sure to subscribe to us on crazy town media uh, on YouTube or on Spotify or iTunes. Leave us some reviews. Subscribe. Follow us. Tell your grandma to come listen. You know she's going to hear us. Why wouldn't grandma want to hear my voice? <laughs> <laughs> my salty you deep undertones. Are you trying to F your grandma? <laughs> <laughs> Not my grandma. Oh, dude. their grandma. Yeah, dude. Oh, you're trying like, to F. Okay. Uh, you're trying yeah, to, I mean, Jonas is going to fuck your grandmother. <laughs> wow.
<laughs> wow. You were talking about Twitch before you. Hello, get my... Grandma. Yes, TNT Dynamite <laughs> for all you sexy grandmas. <laughs> TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore right. crazy town. <laughs> all right. We're talking geriatric sex today. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking how to prevent your skin from ripping while you're getting. Mmm, I love wet wrinkles. Aww. For Jonas. TNT. <laughs> we'll catch you on the next one. We are uh, out. Oh. Uh